If life has no purpose, why live? You'll never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You'll never live if you're looking for the meaning of life. Albert Camus Many people believe that a life without purpose is not worthwhile, and Albert Camus is one of those people who recognize this and addresses the issue head on. As there can be no more significance in death than in life, he concludes that suicide has no use to us and shifts his attention to the issues of what makes life worthwhile. But he's not much assistance regarding what meaning we might find. On the meaning of life, Albert Camus asserts boldly that neither there is one nor can we create one. He argues that we cannot choose the purpose of life and that any attempt to do so will be disastrous since whatever meaning we choose will ultimately be sent back up to the universe. He also rejects the idea that philosophy, science, culture, or religion could ever develop a purpose for existence that wouldn't be affected by the absurdity problem. Albert Camus thought the world was ludicrous. In other words, despite subsequently believing that people have valid reasons for existing, he's consistently held that the cosmos and human history are without meaning. On the other hand, the illogical universe that appears to have no purpose and desire for significance in human life led Camus to view life as ludicrous. We're wired to ask questions that have no clear solutions. It gives off an absurd sense because the same universe that now only sends us stillness also gave us a mind that can't tolerate silence. Our mechanical, repetitive lifestyles are one way we try to battle this emotion. But we can never totally escape absurdity once it appears and interrupts our fruitless daily routine. However, he does not consider this meaningless or absurdity is wrong. He argues that the first step to fully living is realizing how absurd life is. Living in a meaningless world is a significant challenge, but it can be solved just like any other problem. He sings the glories of the sun, women, the beach, kissing, dancing, and delicious cuisine throughout his whole body of work. He was known to love sports and was even a talented soccer player in his younger years. He found enormous pleasure in the little things and urged us to do the same. Life can nevertheless be delightful, even though it has no purpose. In truth, meaninglessness is only a background reality that must be accepted, much like gravity. Albert Camus chastises people who try to give their lives significance to tolerate their meaninglessness. While that may provide some solace, those systems of meaning are ultimately guaranteed to fall short. Random things happen. The cosmos continues to be uncaring of us, and we shall once more be faced with meaninglessness. Life can only genuinely mean whatever you decide it means to you. You live to fulfill your own needs, and, ideally, to cheer up and uplift those around you. Imagine quitting math because it's difficult. Quitting might not mean anything, particularly if you're not losing anything. But life is not a math problem. We're unable to stop or give up. We can't. If we decide to give up, we'll lose everything we have. I believe that occasionally people overlook or fail to recognize that this planet is finite. There will come a moment when Earth no longer exists. Just as there have never been any airways on the world, our sun has a limited lifespan, and the Earth will undoubtedly follow suit when it does. Life is more than merely leaving a legacy or passing an exam. All the knowledge we've accumulated as a human civilization will eventually cease to exist. Make your time count when you pass through this phase by doing activities that will make you happy and help others. You can find true meaning in life there. There is immense potential for brightness and delight in life. Happiness is a state of mind. So what we feed into our minds determines how happy we are. It includes our conscious self-statements, the attributions, assumptions, and interpretations we give to events. 
and what they mean about who we are. If you don't believe that life has any significance or purpose, especially when going through a trying time like the Dark Knight of the Soul, you need to discover how to be joyful, which involves being of service to others. There you'll find true happiness and purpose. In addition, the more content we are, the less we care about purpose or meaning, and the more content we are just being. We grow more adept at appreciating where we are, rather than concentrating on where we are heading. Sometimes, despite all the difficulties we face, we genuinely do not understand why we must continue to live the way we do. But guess what? It fits into the strategy. Our journey through life includes it. Let's consider this. Who said living would be easy? Who told us that life would be full of enjoyable and cozy moments? No one. Because one cannot have the rose and avoid the thorns in life, I believe that life is difficult at times, but worthwhile otherwise. I really think that everything occurs for a reason. Suppose you're going through a tough experience like the dark night of the soul. You need to recognize this and pay attention to your current circumstances. There is a reason for everything that happens to you, whether good or not. You might not comprehend right now, but ultimately you will because life already has a plan, your life's journey in blueprint form. And in the end, everything works out for you if you have hope for the future. Similar to the saying, you reap what you sow, because the law of attraction is so potent, you must always think positively. Always know that there's good reason behind anything that happens to you. Your job is to learn the lessons from each experience in life. Take each day the way it comes and work hard to reach your highest level of achievement in life. Find the things that bring you joy. Save yourself the continuous anxiety and unanswered questions. Life is precious and it's unfortunate not to have a cause to exist. Additionally, it would be best if you let up on your need to control things. Even while it might seem that taking control of this trying circumstance is the best course of action. There are occasions when letting go can help you maintain your mental health, especially after you've tried multiple times. Letting yourself off the hook for things is one method to assist yourself to get through the situation. In most cases, when things are difficult, we're more critical of ourselves. Experiencing tough times is a natural aspect of being human. Most of the time, even though they seem complicated, they won't last forever. If so, there are effective ways to deal with them. It's normal to feel like there's no way out of the hellhole while going through a dark night of the soul. Breathe, though, and take each day as it comes. To feel better, concentrate on the areas of your life you can influence. Release yourself and go through the process and learn from the things you can't control. While going through the dark night of the soul, you'll discover the purpose of existence. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of subsequent updates. Thanks for watching.